Yeah, that's Adele in the background. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm at my family's house, so this is the reason why my Dragon Ball Super Episode 72 review is late. I had a nice little Christmas, um, so that's also why I'm not in my background. It's got like a nice pink, nice pink wall. But <laughs> moving on swiftly, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Welcome to Chris is Talking, and this is my weekly Dragon Ball Super anime review for Episode 72. Who? Um, this episode basically concluded with the whole who hired Hit to fight Goku and 3, 2, 1. It was Goku himself, which was pretty crazy because we see Champa and Vados. And um, at first I was like, oh, so it was them two. And I think this kind, these kind of things are what makes Dragon Ball Super have such a good writing recently compared to the old Dragon Ball series because there's a whole sense of mystery um, at the beginning of the episodes, at the end of the episodes, and the way they continue on to a next week's episode. Oh, it's doing very well, apart from the filler episodes, obviously. But um, ever since the trunk, no, not even ever since the trunks bit, ever since like the, the tournament arc, obviously the fights weren't the best. Um, like I found that like since Hit got introduced, that's when things picked up in Dragon Ball Super properly because prior to that it was mostly what happened in the movies so it was kind of like right, come on give us something juicy and since we've been introduced to Hit and he's come back um when we got introduced to Hit we basically realized this guy's potential is far it is high I mean it's kind of like he's basically kind of another Goku but from another universe so this is something that's really really intense and we get to see how much this affects Goku because in this episode he was actually shaken which is one of those things that takes you off the scent of like to ever think would it be Goku everybody thought it was Vados or Champa or maybe even Wiz and it's kind of like no at the end of the day it was just Goku Goku was so selfish in himself that he wanted to just fight someone who would give him that fear and like yeah I don't think no one's given him that fear in a while obviously like they've Kill with him <laughs> in the past but they never really gave him that fear it's either through dirty tactics or this or that but i've realized that this is a really good character development for goku because it shows you that he's it's not that he's just uh wants to get stronger he's willing to do that training uh in in other methods in other types of in other Goku's developed a lot compared to what he was in the first at yeah, the beginning, and he's not as stupid as we think. Um, from the key blasting to re to revive himself, um, using the shock waves to him actually even hiring Hit to actually train him as well is one of the the things that makes Goku's character um develop that much further. We get quite a lot of humor as well with Vegeta. <laughs> Oh my god, Vegeta was hilarious. Like, literally, the way he's like, oh, I'll give you um, grandma's secret sauce on the steak if you let me go find out about Goku. Oh man, I, I loved it. And Wiz fell for it. And then at the end, when you get to see that Wiz actually even brought Beerus along, and Beerus was like, all right, I hope you never lied about that grandma's secret sauce. Hilarious. So we've got a good bit of humor and comedy with, with Goku, with Vegeta and Wiz. And, uh, oh, Jita, Wiz and Beerus and then we also got the action with Goku and Hit and I was actually uh, pretty skeptical last week when we saw the, the preview for this week and we saw that like the art might dip a little bit but the art actually was actually pretty decent and the animation was actually pretty on point Goku going Super Saiyan God uh, in those blue mode like everything like Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan fuck my life so many S's that looked good like the art and animation actually looked good. There was a few derps every now and then when they were moving and Beerus's face sometimes looked a bit mm, questionable, but overall it was good. The art, animation, uh, art, let's give it like a seven. Animation was like a good eight, nine. Uh, the story once again, I'll give that like a good 8.5 or a nine because it actually led somewhere and it, it led us around. It really made us want to think about who did hire hit. And that was a really good mystery. So I think that's something that was very, very good in this episode. Um, I like the, f I like I like the whole family ties. How Gohan and Goten were like, oh, dad, like, who's this guy to have actually been strong enough to kill you? There hasn't been anybody like that, so that was pretty nice. And we get to see Piccolo is like, oh, you've always been selfish. No, you're not. You haven't always been selfish. You've always put your life in the life of a world. Um, you have earned the right to want to use your life in however you want to do it. So that was pretty nice in itself. Um, another thing I liked about Goku's uh, development as well is that he was actually learning so much in this fight it wasn't like he was just fighting for the sake of fighting or doing some stupid tournament he was like he mastered he pretty much almost mastered um his censoring abilities as i uh, like by like by closing his eyes and realizing about all right cool let me use this because this is what wiz was telling me i need to actually focus on 
I need to focus on my N. Is it N? <laughs> Sorry, in Hunter. You know when they go, N? No, 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 fuck it, I don't know. It's been such a long time. But yeah, so Goku's been developing that. Uh, we also find out more about Hit's abilities and what he can actually do. Hit, basically, when he does his time skip, he goes into a... He, like, the, the time that he stops, he can go into that time and thus allowing um, people... So basically, his body looks like he's staying here, but he's actually in another parallel universe, which is why you can't hit him, but he phases through it. Emotional. Also, like, hit. What in the hell? How powerful is this guy? I'm very... I can't wait to see Hit come back. And we see Hit's development as well, because he wasn't even just being the assassin Hit. He is actually being the martial artist Hit. And things like this is what makes good writing, good development, good plot progression. And hopefully we get to see Hit in the future. What did you guys think about this episode? Um, this is going to be a really short review because I have to go back to my family and stuff. Because that Adele is playing and you know we love Adele. <sighs> no, I'm joking. But, um, but she's fine. Anyways, have a good day. Remember, Chris is talking. Do subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.